Hello and welcome to Space Engineers Survival Rovers Thing Savage. Today, I am by myself. That is right. Robert has abandoned me to go deal with real life things. So what I'm going to do is something that's very important. So if you watched last episode, you may have gathered that I feel like going to war with the V Core people. No, not the V Core. I lie to the junk people. We're going to war with the junk people. Um. Yeah, I'm going to do that. But before we really, really kick things off, I think it would be a very good idea and an intelligent idea to um, get some defenses up. I mean, what I was thinking was I want to put turrets, 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 yes, turrets around, um, around the base, right? Down this little valleyway where our base is, just along these walls here. I'm going to put a few because Robert's going to build this into a pathway that goes around the mountain I think that was his plan and I was thinking if he's gonna do that I might as well incorporate a few turrets along this side of the wall and I'm gonna go ahead and do a whole bunch along this side of the canyon wall as well now what that means is I'm gonna have to do a whole bunch of digging and I do have a plan for that my plan to do the whole, all the digging in the future for the conveyor tubes is uh, quite frankly I'm going to go into my creative world my test world and I'm just gonna place them all down um, I'm just gonna place the conveyor tubes underground blah 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 connect it up then I'm gonna take a blueprint of that and then I'm gonna come back to this world and using the base blueprint because this base is actually connected up to a blueprint thingy that was stupid Bye bye little plate. Yeah, it's actually connected up to a blueprint, blueprint uh, projector now, so I can just project the uh, base, and then I can drill tunnels following the projection, and that way I can. It, it's just a lot easier to dig holes in the side of the mountain with using a projector-based system thing like that. But what I was thinking was, um, I'm thinking like we'll probably. So you need a 3x3 three three space, right? Now, I'm gonna assume, because that's just the way I do things, that Robert's gonna want a little bit of a path back here to walk past, which means, so walking down here, probably will have the um, turret on that. So if we go to conveyor junction, where are you? There, I just need you for now. Alright, so we put the conveyor junction there and then I can put a turret, a nice little simple turret, right up here, like so. I'm going to do that all along there and I will make some sort of fancy thing, fancy thing, yes, a fancy protective shell around it. In fact, we may even actually, because this is going to take a few bullets, right, we may replace these with some heavy armour to help protect it from errant bullets coming in and destroying its connection to the base because we're going to need um, we're going to need to protect the conveyor system now I think what, we, what I might do is I'm going to hmm, okay so I kind of actually so Robert will probably have a path come out at least one block along here and do I want do I want to do something? Maybe, maybe we can, excuse me, we can do something like that. All right, and then we can go like this, and we'll go like this one, like this. And then with this one, we can go like that. And then we'll just have a normal thing like that. And then this can be with like heavy armor here, just to protect it there, because we're gonna have the conveyor tube will come out of this mountain about here and connect up into there. And I do want to make sure it is protected. Um, so let's just something like that, and then instead of there, we just, we'll do that. Make it have like some sort of support, um, like so. And then this one, we would do the, the, that. I'm not sure how I'm, what I'm going to do with this section. Maybe this will leave this open like this because I, I think in the future 
probably going to want to put like a stairwell or something to get up to that point there. I'm not sure what Robert's overall in uh, design idea is for that interior area, but I think if we do like this, I'm going to quickly just fly, even though I don't have much jet back fuel. I think that'd be like a nice little turret, uh, little turret tower section there. And I think what we should also try to do is here, I might try to put like a little welder that comes out. Um, so, probably put the welder. I might put the welder down like on this level here, down here. I'll let the conveyor tube go up, and that way, you know. Nah, actually, I might put the I might put the welder off the side here because I want to make I want to guarantee that the welder is going to grab uh, weld that up as well. Because we would love, I'd like to have this constantly have some sort of welder to keep it welded. Um, if it comes into attack, help help it stay in the fight a little bit longer. I think that'll be the way to go. Now, what we got to do is just gotta find where um, where else we would like to put um, put things. Sorry, I'm just thinking. I should probably just place some of these down. Help me out in the help help me out to visualize. How this platform thing is gonna work. So we got one over there. I think maybe we should have t another one sticking out here as well. I don't want to make him too far out though. So maybe we'll go like that far out there, and then we can go with like a, something like that. And do that. I'll get rid of you. Gonna make you that block. No, that's not the block I wanted to make you. Go away. I want to make you that block, and then we'll make that black like that. Oh, actually, go. Um, where are you? Where are you there? Go like that, like that, and then like that. Yeah, I think that's the way we're gonna do. And then because this side. Here, this one sticks out, so we can do the same sort of thing on this side as that one. Bam, 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 bam. Like that. I think that'll look good. Uh, I'll probably put a heavy armor block there just for a little bit of extra protection. Uh, I gotta wear some more of the jetpack fuel. We don't have much ice, so I should be careful doing that. So this was a heavy armor block, this was the conveyor junction, and then we can pop another one, like, right there. I think that'll work nicely. I think that'll come out quite well. Now, I've got to put a few more turrets along here, probably... Um, let's just put this down. Okay, we'll come like this. I'll put one in this little section here, I think. I think this would be another good spot for it, and then we'll probably uh, put another one in like this section, and then I'm gonna have to put put a whole bunch along the other side of there. But I would like to try and keep them at the same level. For no real reason. I just kind of nope. But I just kind of want to. Uh, I don't have the jetpack fuel to be doing this for too long game, so just let this go smoothly. Okay, like that. Yeah, I think that'll work well. We go like that. This should be nice and easy. All right, I'm gonna get to work. I'm gonna place all of these uh, turrets down where I think we will, and I'll also set up the projector system for the tunneling, and I'll show you how easy that will make my life. Now that I've got all of the um, turrets placed, I've gone into the creator mode. I have placed down the conveyor tubes and I put the blueprint on. And as you can see down here, you can see the blueprint. It goes very well. And, um, I connected everything up. What's the camera? There we go. Like you go in here, you can see it. We've got all of these tubes all connected here, all down here, and along the other side over here. And now all I have to do is I have to get out my handy dandy little drill and we're gonna make our way underneath here we'll start at this one and we just kind of drill out the concrete the concrete the rock we, we just follow the 
just follow the blueprint. You just follow it all. Just keep going. Nice and easy. It uh, really makes drilling tunnels a lot easier. And you'll see in a sec when I turn around, like, it's mostly a straight hole. Like, it's, I just love it. This really is the easiest way to do things. Um, unfortunately, it only works um, if you are playing in like a single player world or a co-op world where you have admin access. Also, that sounded like a lightning storm. Perfect timing for one of those. So you can jump into admin mode and actually, well, I suppose actually that's not true. What you could do is, even if you're in on a server, is you can take a blueprint of your base. You, you go up. Okay, I'll, come, I'll do that later. Uh, you can take a blueprint of your base and then paste it into a um, your own creative world, and then cr go admin mode and make it, and then go back to your server and use a projector to um, project that blueprint. Yeah, that's the way I'd do that on the multiplayer server where I didn't have the ability to just jump in and out of admin. So yeah, here we go. That's it. That's all I've got to do now. So this is going to be boring and nobody wants to see that. Now that I've finished uh, digging all these tunnels and doing the projector system, I can show you what it looks like. I've got the projector turned to show buildable only on right now. But as you can see, you've got these nice, beautiful, straight tunnels. They go through the mountain side. It's great. It's awesome. It's better than when I was digging tunnels manually. Like if you look uh, somewhere, there's somewhere like here, I'm digging tunnels, and I kind of go off center and stuff. That was when I wasn't using a projector. It's the same over here. Like you just you just don't know. But now it's all nice and neat, and, and I like it like that. I've also done over this side as well. Um, see. Nice and cool little tunnels. How close is that one to the edge though? Oh, no, no, you're far away. Okay, I thought you were much closer. There is a tunnel that I thought was really close to the edge. No? Okay. It's just that when I was digging the tunnels, they got like little green grass sticking out, which usually means like this kind of grass. Which usually means that you're pretty close to the edge, but mm, it looks fun. Okay, never mind. Never mind. It's fine. Like this little grass here. But like it was like farther back. Farther back? Further back. Like it's pretty deep. It's fine. It was, it was, it was a lie. It was lying to me because it was also doing it back here. Anyway, that doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway, so what we're gonna do now is I gotta weld all of these up and build all the tunnels. Now, what I'm thinking is I haven't got any of the bits on me because that make that, that would have made my life make more sense. Uh, cool. I don't have any active contracts. Didn't mean to press that button. Now, what I'm thinking is I want to build from. The tunnel back. Okay, well this tunnel actually doesn't go anywhere. I don't remember where this tunnel goes. I'm confused and lost in my own tunnels. Wait, where the hell is this tunnel? Did I not connect this tunnel? Did I forget to do a tunnel? No, I didn't. I did this tunnel, didn't I? I did, yes. No? Yes? Yes, I did do a tunnel. There you go. It goes up. Okay, that's why. I didn't look up. Um, what I'm thinking is I'm going to start welding from up here and go back. I don't know if I'm going to have enough components to do all of this I hope I do I doubt I do um, but I think if I can do like this side first right I want to do this side first because it has the turrets protecting the runway so we can do this weld it all up here I got a sneeze and it's making it very hard to talk um, and then once I weld up all the conveyor tubes I'm gonna slap a, a welder up here and then activate the welder and then hopefully that can just weld up all of these guys um, it's going to Hopefully that works. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how we go. So one welder up here. I may have to clear out a little bit more land, uh, dirt. I don't know if you can place a welder in dirt. I think it might be like a drill where you need the space. Um, oh, my nose is itchy. I don't want to sneeze. But yeah, that, that, that's my plan. I think it should work well. Uh, I've got to go get to work now. Um, how many times can I say um? And how many conveyor tubes can I carry at a time? Because that is also an important. I can't remember which tubes I use, and I don't think it matters. Alright, so let's go over here. We can carry one. That's 10, 20. So we can do 20 at a time. Okay. Well, slightly over 20 at a time. Uh, but well, a, little bit, a little bit less than 20 at a time. It, it, I can do 20 at a time. Okay, I can do two, 20 tubes at a time. The problem is that I also need to do a few um, junctions as well. 
So let's just... Okay, so how do I get to that tunnel? It's not through this one, and it's not through the second one. Because these two are connected here, and they go up to that base. They're on a completely different tunnel connection. We have to go through here. I might... Mm, I might put a doorway here so that I can access these tunnels. I don't know. But then I won't be able to walk through here anyway once I build these up. I probably will put a doorway there to access these tunnels and I might actually end up having to make these tunnels a little bit wider. Um, just because I shouldn't need to repair anything down here, but sometimes, randomly, I've found conveyor tubes decide that they... <gasps> Jesus, careful. Um, I, I find that sometimes conveyor tubes like to randomly just break themselves. Um, I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, okay, so also I'm using the armoured ones and I didn't bring any steel plates because that's... Yeah, yep, good work me, good work me. All the first like two or three conveyor tubes are all armoured conveyor tubes, so like, yeah. I, I've done, I've done an oopsie. But I'm gonna go get the bits, I'm gonna weld that up, and then when we come back, maybe we'll have a functioning defense grid. And I wanna go find a, a junk ship. There's none that have spawned in at the moment, so I gotta go find a junk ship, because I wanna, I wanna poke it, I wanna poke it. These junk people, they have ruined my life enough, and for the last time, I will have my revenge in this life, and I will get it. Thoroughly, okay, let's just take like, god, these are expensive, man, it's all, it's fine. Yeah, I will have my revenge on the junk people for stealing my tires and blaming it on poor innocent Bob who has now been exiled because of their lies. I will defeat them. Okay, so, um, I've run out, oh no, the doors are closed. <laughs> that lucky I noticed that. So I've run out of steel tubes. I've run out of small steel tubes. I need to go out. I need to explore. Um, unfortunately, I have the runway lock. The, the runway security gates. I don't know what the hell they are. The, the hangar doors to stop planes from landing on without permission. I have that turned up. I'm going to push that button to get it down. So they're going to go down. Perfect. Excellent. Yeah, I've run out of small steel tubes. Alright, I need to go get more more small more small steel tubes. God, that was a tongue twister for some reason. Um, and the only real plane that we have available right now is this one, because the two fighter planes have like maybe five minutes of flight time. Whereas this one looks like it'll have uh, an hour? I don't know. 16 hours? Two days? I don't know. It has flight time. Now, if I remember Robert's instructions with this, uh, they were something along the lines of the thing likes to fall. It just constantly pulls up, that's right. It just pulls up. There we go. It's fine. So what's the... What's the sweet spot? I think he said it was like 55 or something. Because yeah, he's playing... I think he's got too much lift on it. Because I'm not doing... I'm not touching the mouse or anything. And it's just lifting itself up. So... We've got to keep that in mind. But we've got two hours of flight time. Which is perfect. Because I need to find myself... A nice little junk outpost to shoot and destroy so what I'm thinking is we've been over that way quite a fair bit uh, we've still got that or pirate or place actually worst case scenario I might get back to that or or um facility not the not the one me and Robert found yesterday there's this is an old one we found uh, a few episodes ago uh, it was just a pirate base that had been constantly attacked, and there was a bunch of wrecks around it. Yeah, I might go back there. I, I'm pretty sure I've stripped all of the um, small steel tubes out of that place. I was pretty thorough in... Is that a base over there? That looks kind of basey. Um, let's have a look. We'll head towards it. But yeah, I, I um, stripped everything out of it. Oh, there was that base that we found that we were defending too at the start. I don't know. <laughs> I stripped everything out of that pirate uh, base over there anyway. I'm pretty sure I um, got all the small steel tubes because we, we were brought... small steel tubes are a bit of a pain in the butt. It's not the first time we've run out of them, and I got the sne sneaking suspicion it's not going to be the last time either. Everything that uses small steel tubes seems to want to use a fair few of them. Like I think it's like 12 tubes per 
conveyor junction and I have to build like, you know, 100 of them, so I need like at least 1200. I don't know. I, I'm gonna need a boss. This is what I'm trying to get at. Also, that building floating over in the distance. Oh, that must, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the first place we found that we decided to defend. Whoa, why am I losing health? Oxygen issue? Alright, oh, put my helmet on. Probably we're a bit high up. Yeah, we are. We're high up. We've got four hours of flight time at this altitude, which is pretty cool. I like that. Alright. Anything else? There's something down there. I don't know what it is. But I could target it at it's probably a crash ship or something. What I'm after though is a more base lines. There is a broken battery Robert has in here, it doesn't fix, it's in the nose. So that's why there's a, a trail of black smoke <laughs> following the plane. Uh, is this the first place? I feel like this is the first place we found. Uh, unknown signal. Hello, unknown signal. I need to get more of these unknown signals because I want more of the damn plushies, damn it. And that's where I. That's the only place I've ever found them is in these things. Alright, anyway, ignore it. Yeah, this is that first place we found. It looks pretty bad, not. Maybe there's a few steel tubes in here I can acquire. I'm not sure. The reason I did head this way though, I forgot about this place, but I do remember seeing some junk plate bases in out out in this desert area. I th at least I thought I did a while ago. That's why I came out here. I kind of want to focus on the junk people. I don't know who owns this building here. I'm fairly certain it's not the junk people. Um, but yeah, but we'll find out. We'll find out. Uh, SEMS. Okay, where are we going? Where is all the things? There's a few crash plane. Uh, I'm pretty sure those fighters are actually the little crash ships. I'm pretty sure those are actually are junk. They were owned by the junk clan. Uh, let's just we're gonna fly past this guy, and I may hit it up on the way back for stuff. But for now, I gotta remember too. I actually don't have a fighter plane. <laughs> Uh, I'm flying around in Robert's scout plane, so yeah, I've got to keep that in mind. That's, that's the thing that needs to be in the, mem the memory banks. All right, uh, there's the innocent trader. We, we don't talk about the innocent trader around here. Nobody, don't worry about the innocent trader. You don't need to know about the innocent trader. Totally wasn't somebody that was just innocently trying to trade and that we attacked and shot multiple times. No. Nah. Maybe I'm delusional. Maybe there wasn't a base I saw already. I don't know. Alright, well, I'm gonna fly around for a while. I'm gonna see what I can find. If I find anything interesting, I'll show you guys. If not, I'm probably just gonna go back to that building there and just get what I need out of it. It's been pretty much... It looks abandoned to me at this point. It's been hammered pretty hard by... Somebody. <laughs> somebody has been shitting at it a lot. I haven't, but I, I need bits and bobs, so... Beggars can't be choosers. I've been flying for a while now. I've been trying to do a circle about 15 k's out from the base and that. And I haven't found much until now. That's a nice view, by the way. Can I just... Here. Can I do this? And then we go like F... F12. There we go. Anyway. Um... <laughs> screenshots aside. So I'm flying around for a while. And then, then I found this. I'm kind of curious as to what this is. It looks like it's been hammered a bit. Have I been here before? This looks kind of familiar. I don't know. But, yeah, it's definitely on fire. And if something's on fire, that's a good sign. Oh, it's time to go dark. That means I've been flying for like an hour now because I, I took off just after sunrise. That's fine. It's alright. I don't need um, light to land. Alright, let's have a look. It's not shooting at me, which is a good sign. It is neutral, so... Theoretically... We should be fine. Alright. Let's go. This is actually bad. I can't see the ground. Um... Oh, okay, there's the ground. I, uh, okay, but I don't know where the edge is. I know there was a cliff here somewhere. And I get the sneaking suspicion I was pretty close to it. Uh, yeah, we were a little bit closer. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. 
I need more steel tubes though. I do need a fair few of those, so hopefully this has some stuff in it. It does look like it's taken quite a beating though. Um, yeah, this base does not look like it's in the prime of its life. It's definitely seen better days. Uh, wow, it has seen way better days. Uh, let's see, what have you got? You're fully functioning, that's excellent. You fully work. Um, wow. <laughs> There's not much left of this place. Some ice, we have a... How much jetpack stuff do I have? Okay, I've got enough. 69% giggity. Okay. Well. There is a surviving hydrogen engine. An engine? Engine. Surviving hydrogen engine. We got a metric ton of ice. Okay. That's kind of cool. Is there any... Anything else Danny? I don't think there is. Let's have a look. Should we just do straight down just to see if there's any other... I don't think this place is going to have what I need. Um, I don't know what happened here, but it was uh, something bad. Something bad happened here. I don't know what it was. Um, probably don't want to stick around and find out. I don't really, really need... There's a lot of ice here though. I can't take the ice. I don't. Uh, I don't really have the room for the ice. All right, I'm just gonna mark this spot. Um, I'm gonna call it just like weird, destroyed place with ice. All right, we're just gonna call it that. I'll, I'll take it off the marker off my map for now. Uh, we're gonna keep that down. I don't think this is gonna have the bits that we need. Um, let's look thing there, control box. Uh, so, I am going to steal probably the solar panels. That turret's still active. And it's disconnected from the base, which is excellent news for me. Probably going to take these guys as well, just because they will have uh, ammo in it. Uh, we'll leave them there, actually. We'll leave them there for now. I don't have room. i got to prioritise room. Now, the one, pl the one plus... The one good thing, the one good thing, the one plus side, I don't know, whatever the word language English is proper for that one, uh, about flying at night time, is that, um, I'll be able to see Rex, I guess, easier, because the fire will stand out. Also, I need you to, like, fly. I need you to fly. Fly, my precious. But yeah, I haven't really come across anything... Other than that, that was the only thing. I was kind of... They got another V-Core processing station over there, apparently. A bunch of strike craft who were mad at something. Um... Hell? <laughs> it's like a shooting star. Um... Make a wish. I wish for more small steel tubes. Alright. Um... I'm gonna keep flying around. I'm thinking I'm just gonna head back and grind down that base, which... At this point... I'm pretty sure is near those junk sea rovers. I think they're shooting at it. And I don't have my fighter, so I can't shoot at the junk rover things, which kind of annoys me, but it, it is what it is. I need more steel tubes, all right? Just, I got plans, I need buildings. I gotta get my base defended before I start poking things. And this is not being cooperative today, but they, that's the challenge of this playthrough. Um, how much do the V-Core like me? Where are you? Uh, what's your tag? What is your tag? Where are you? So many tags in here and people I've never seen. Uh, so they're the Junkers. What are they? They, they actually really like us at the moment. I think because we took out a, a, a pirate base the other episode. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. What the hell's your tag? That's not the button. So you're, yeah, V-Cool. Okay. Also, this plane, if you don't pay attention to it, it um, will will fly straight up in the air and stall itself and blow up if I'm not careful. Uh, factions. Where is it? Why can't I see it? A, B, C. It's not, why is nothing in the alphabetical order? Um, there's me, God. Junk. IMDC. Pick or damage the damaged. That sounds scary. Peacekeepers, legions, alpha bots. Okay, cool. That's all cool. Except the V-Core are not on this list. Oh, they're all the way at the bottom. 
They they're close to going to war with us. I think we got to a negative 500 before they'll actively start shooting at us. Uh, no, that processing station is still gonna be too big anyway. All right, all right, all right. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not gonna raid the. I'm just gonna go back to that weird building that the V core prob that the junker probably shooting at. I think. I'm gonna continue my circle around the base. At like well, I'm at 10 kilometers. I'm a bit closer than what I wanted to be, but continue my circle around the base. Also, I got the air brakes on. I don't ever use air brakes. I keep forgetting that they're a thing. Um, I'm gonna continue circling around the base. So this, this is a tiny thing. Is this another one of the big ones though? I think this is another one of their big ones. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna ignore you. Um, same reason why I've left the other one behind. Someone did mention in the chat. I'm sorry, I forgot your name. I would look at it in the messages that I could like make a road train type thing and haul the things back during a lightning storm and whatever survives survives something along those lines i'm thinking about it but i don't know the lightning storms they're not as bad as everyone like they, they they can be bad they can destroy things but they, they mm. i i still feel like i'd be almost guaranteed to get 90 percent of the stuff back and i don't want that much stuff right now i don't feel like i've earned it so, I, I don't know. I, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm rambling on. Alright. I'll be back. I'm probably just going to loop around this field here and then head to that other station, I think. Unless something spawns in that's the junk and then I'll in, uh, intentionally try to destroy it just to get us down on the war foot because apparently they really like us right now, which makes no sense to me. Also, I should probably grab that. So, uh, just flying along, and then this popped up. I have no idea what this is. This might be nothing, but it might be something. Um, this may be a disaster, it may be nothing, or it may be a gold mine. Who knows? But I'm kind of curious, so I thought we'd just stop in and have a look. Also, I kind of got tired of flying in a 15 kilometer circle around the base, so I was just headed straight for that building. Which I'm fairly certain those junk rovers, are, those junk little sea rover things are at. Um, oh, too high. I'm out, I'm out of oxygen as well, so if I get too high, my character starts dying. <laughs> He's like, no, I can't breathe. Okay, so what is this? So we got an antenna of sorts. That looks like there's some sort of base. Now Robert's plane actually has a really nice view. It's just that it's pitch black. I don't trust my flying skills in this thing. Um, anyway, just side note. What have we got here, though? What have we got? We look like we've got a couple buildings. It's hard to tell. Uh, if we can zoom in. So, yeah, there's definitely a building there. There's some sort of fiery wreck off in the distance. Let's try to land. Alright, we've got a couple buildings. Okay, this may be promising. This may actually be worthwhile. What's that? A vehicle, armored recon vehicle. Okay, we don't have to worry too much about that. There's a crash ship there. That could come in handy as well. I also can't see the ground. I know I'm 120 meters and falling. This is not necessarily how you fly a plane, but I'm beyond the caring of flying the plane. It's fine. Uh, Ned! Uh, okay. It wasn't the most graceful of landings. Alright, let's have a look. What have we got in here? As usual, it looks a bit beaten up. That's fine. I don't care if it's beaten up. What I care about is that it has small sort tubes and it has a couple here. A few in that door. Oh, we got some resources. We got power cells. <gasps> power cells. I like power cells. I don't know who owns this base. Who owns this base? Nobody owns this base. Why does nobody own this base? I don't care. I own this base. Me. I own it. It's all mine. <laughs> cool. Sweet. Yeah, turret. Shut up. Yeah, I think this place was unowned because they, whoever attacked it, destroyed all the weapons, and there was no like med bay or control block. So. 
That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Do we have any goodies? Let's have a look. Hide empty. We have some interior turrets. That's cool. That's cool. It's alright. We've got 100 steel tubes. Excellent. 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 You, you, won't, you won't open. There you go. I pressed the button. You just didn't want to cooperate. That's very rude. Now there was another building over there. Okay. Let's have a look. I wonder if there's anything in this building. I'm quite happy that we got a bunch of um, power cells though. That That's useful. Uh, we got a giant block of ice. There's always ice just floating around everywhere around this on this planet um, Which is ironic considering it's a giant desert planet. Uh, it's fine All right, what have we got in here? Just some sort of building of some sorts. You got anything in you? 50 rockets, okay. We got some nice rockets. What about you? Do you have anything in you? 187 Gatling. That's cool. That's cool. 125 uh, are you one piece? I think you're one piece. Okay. So we got a little bit of ammo in here. It's like a little garage workstation area. Seems to be something back there. Um, reputation with junk drop by. Ha! Suck it, junk. There was a way in. So what do we got in here? We got thrusters and reactor components and super collectors. That's cool. We got more batteries. There's more batter uh, construction components. Okay. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, how do I take over this one? There is a remote control block right underneath it. Should I take it over or should I leave it? See, if I take it over, if I leave it, I can get my junk wall up. I'm not ready for a war with the junk people. We'll leave this one for now and we'll come back to it. Um, just just gonna call it small junk. Small a junk? No, it's just small junk base. So I might come back later and just to make the junk more aggressive, I might just start grinding it down to lower our, our reputation points. But for now, what I'm going to do is I am going to strip this place here of all well not all of it. I can't actually strip all of it because um I like that. That's kind of cool. Um, I can't. Ow, I know. Okay, it's a windstorm. I get it. You, you're not happy. There's actually not much I can do about this. Um, were you close? Were you close? That didn't work. I don't want to back there. There's some sort of purple ball. Um, I can't put my helmet on. I have got oxygen. Where the hell did I get oxygen from? Don't care. It works. <laughs> fine it's fine okay so first off I can I own you so wait how did I how is this unowned if there's a AI control box I don't know whatever you go away I don't trust you you're always up to something there's always something fishy going on all right um what the hell else am I gonna do it's gonna wait here grab all of the steel tubes there's not that many though, but you know, we need them. We need all the steel tubes we can get our hands on because the goddamn conveyor chairs require them. And I am tired of not having that project finished. I've been flying around forever. Um, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna get all this down. I'm gonna see what bits and bobs I can actually fit in the plane because the plane. Oh, there's that fire thing too. Robert's put the damn thing on the top. Um, eh. eh. Has its benefits, but also makes it difficult. What is that fire thing? It looks pretty chunky. What are you? What are you? What bits and bobs have you got for me? Are you going to fall right on my head or are you going to fall a mile away? I don't know. We'll find out. I did go to that last drop and it didn't give me anything, so. You're blue. And shiny. You're very shiny and blue. Um, do you have small steel tubes? You don't. You got ammo. Does anyone own you? No, no one owns you. That's the owner to me. Sure, why not? Alright, I'm also going to strip this down because no, no small steel tubes. Large tubes, large tubes. Ugh, I need small steel tubes. You got like 50. Okay, thank you. That works out well. You also have 19 rockets in you. Rude. Very rude. Alright, I got some stripping to do. And 
Yes, both kinds of stripping. I have returned back to the base because the planes... I need to empty the plane. And I was just going to do this off camera. But I feel like there is a decent chance that I am going to crash this plane into the side of the mountain instead of landing it in the on the runway. And I felt like that if that were to occur, nobody's going to want to miss that. Everyone's going to want to see me crash this plane. So here we go. A fully loaded Roberts scout plane, which I don't have a blueprint of, so I can't repair it. Attempt at landing. Um... Okay, let's just open the... Okay, let's go this way. Okay. Uh, 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 Robert, Robert, it's okay. Uh. It's fine. <laughs> hey, that went better than I thought that was going to go. Um, I don't think there's going to be much of a... Much of a wall. <laughs> Oof, okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get this past Robert's fighter plane and into that little connector there and then we can empty it out now it's up and over it's fine there we go Ugh, careful careful it's all right we don't want to perfect didn't even scratch the paint what do you mean no don't, those scratches are already there that i don't know what you're talking about don't worry about that that's nothing okay hey hey hey, hey watch my plane no, no, no. okay it's, it's fine it's fine. It's all good. It's fine. It's all part of the plan. It's okay. We're, we're fine. It's all fine. Yeah, we need to, uh... <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. We need to, uh, maybe get some sort of, uh, better organization for these planes. I, I don't think I'm going to be able to line this up properly with all these planes in the way. I think I'm just going to have to unload this manually. It's fine. We'll just unload it manually. It's fine. I mean... I decided to unload it manually means I didn't need to like squeeze it in here but hey <laughs> it's fine it's all fine it's fine it's fine it's fine chill guys chill it's fine it's all fine it's fine it's fine it's all fine it's fine it's all fine we only got like 200 and oh, I got 500 so like we didn't get that many steel plates we didn't get as many as I would have liked but hey uh, steel tubes but hey, it's a it's not a bad start. Um, we got to we did get a hundred power cells, which I feel, I feel like that's pretty useful. I probably will go back out to that pirate base and just see if there's any conveyor tubes or something that I haven't ground down. There should be a few. I, I I just I need to get that stuff done, and we need to get this um we need to get this this conveyor junction system done, and we need to get the turrets all welded. And, uh, I want to get this done, alright? That's it. I just want to get this stuff done. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, that, that's it. I've decided. I'm doing that. I'm, it's going to happen. Also, don't we have iron? I mean, technically, if I have iron ingots, we do have iron ingots. Technically, I could just make... Make the things. Yeah, we, I could just slap down the basic assembler and make them. I mean... That is within the rules of the plate of the gameplay because we did salvage that ironing that or we didn't mine it, so we're allowed to use it. So I might I might just do that. I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. If you feel like that's cheating, let me know in the comments. But I, I feel like I've flown around enough today and I need to get this this mission objective complete. Also, Robert, your plane is sparking a lot, so fix it. Alright, so I'll link to that the rest of it in a second. Where are we going to put this assembler? I know exactly where we're going to put this basic assembler. And I know we have the stuff to build a basic assembler because that junk outpost base we were just at has uh, had a small basic assembler in it that was fully working, so I should have the bits and bobs for that. I think it requires small steel tubes, which is lucky because I've got a whole bunch of small steel tubes. Let's just open up this door. Uh, we don't need it, but let's just grab that. Cool. Alright. I'm thinking I might put the small, the basic refinery up here. Uh, basic assembler, sorry, rather. Uh, assembler. Give it to me. Stop with the issues. Alright, give me that. And then we'll take out the, the I said take it out. Alright, now we got basic assembler 
put it that way so we have the window. And in about five years, wait for it. There we go. Oh yeah, okay. I actually kind of like how that looks. Um, anyway, production. We, we have our very first basic assembler, guys. It's the very first one we've had in this build. What well, we have to like episode nine and god knows how many hours me and Robert have played and we finally have an assembler. Alright, uh, production. I forgot how to use the assembler. Alright, I'm gonna need a thousand steel tubes. How many is that gonna use? Okay, excellent. Alright, now we do have limited resources. This is all of the... I uh, don't know, do we have more? I thought we had more. Oh no, we don't have more, we just... Look at all this bottles and things. And ammo, we got a little bit of ammo. Um, yeah, no, I thought we had more, but we don't have more because it was that cheat, that base that just feels like cheats, so I'm not using it. Uh, anyway, so, if we get some platinum on, I'm just out of curiosity. Can I build tier 1 weapons? That's, uh, I, I was kind of curious about might be getting a tier 3. I could build a normal assembler. I could have just built the normal assembler, but I kind of feel like a basic assembler is the way to go. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Decisions. Anyway, I'm gonna get to... I'm gonna let that build up those tubes, and I'm gonna finish welding uh, the tunnel up, I think. I'm only gonna do... Should I just do this side? I might be able to get away. Uh, there is a lot of tubes for this one, because it goes up down there, around through here. Over there, and then drops down and goes all the way across. I don't know. I might focus on this side first. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I'll see how I feel. Everything should be all welded up now. I actually ran out of motors as well, so I had to make some of those, which ended up using like half of our nickel supply. Actually, it ended up using more than half our nickel supply. We only had like 2,600 nickel ingots, so I had to had to use about 1600 of it to make enough motors to finish it off but it should be all finished I did end up doing this side as you can see other side is also all welded up as we can see through here now all that's left to do is to get a good angle and press the button hopefully I've got enough materials to weld up all of this um, I feel like we will have enough materials we should, but I also feel like it's going to basically deplete almost everything we have. So, you know what? Let's turn them on and watch them weld. Yes, my preciouses. Weld. Make the turrets go shooty shoot. Okay. So, it would appear that we don't have enough material. <laughs> Who would have thought? I'm going to hazard a guess. Let's say metal grids. Alright, let's have a look. Where are the welders? Uh, okay, no. So, what are you missing? It's, it's not going to tell me what it's missing. Okay, well, welders. Let's just turn you off for now. F6, F that. Um, let's go have a look. It's going to be metal grids. If it's going to be metal grids, I'm just going to steal them from the heavy armor blocks. I guarantee you that's where it, it, they just put them, because they do that. Um, also, I should probably put that back on. Metal grids, yep. It's going to be metal grids. Alright, so... Which one of these heavy armor blocks? Oh, I'm gonna have to go look at them individually. I stole all the metal grids. <laughs> Who stole it all? I will find you. Okay, so you got you there. This one doesn't have any metal grids. Right. Nose is itchy as hell. Okay, so how many turrets do I not have? One, two, three, four, five. Did the other two get done? No, six, seven. So seven aren't done. What's the three plus four? Four, so seven, seven aren't done. It's what fifteen metal grids uh, thing. So it's sort of seventy plus thirty-five, one hundred and five. So two armor panels worth of metal grids. I can will find you, and I will grind you down. I, I demand this is a normal armor. Okay. If it's gonna be how much fuel do I have? Forty-one percent. There you go. Uh, it's gonna be over here. Watch. It'll be on the ta um, these towers. I am certain of it. I'm not certain of it. It's a lie. But it wouldn't surprise me. Okay, you got 25. It's fine. Uh, 25, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. I had a whole bunch of middle grids. I don't know where they've gone. Okay, well, you're gonna make me play the search game, aren't you? And I don't like you. Me and you can't be friends, middle grids. 
but yeah there we go there we have it um we are now ready to go and poke the junk people metal grids i found you i knew i'd find you um i also just give me this one okay that should be enough to finish body over there but um i forgot what i was saying i also don't know why that one got all the metal grids i guess that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes uh what was i saying stuff and things yeah but here we go we got our we got base defenses up now theoretically these guys should have ammo in them um can i just quickly waste some more fuel yes okay you 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 got ammo you're armed i'll have to set your settings up in between now and next episode but i think that's gonna be it for this episode guys i hope you enjoyed it i did i'm glad we're making progress i can actually start actively hunting um the junk people and not have to worry about my base just being easy an easy target um yeah i'm looking forward to it i'm looking forward to establishing my dominance and rubbing my junk all over the junk people oh there's a hole here i never filled in that's gonna keep that in mind but yeah if you did like this episode don't forget to like comment subscribe um i don't i think robert will be back for the next episode i don't know his trip has been extended He's having real life things to deal with. Nothing bad, all good stuff, but it's just, he's being a responsible adult and prioritizing real life over video games. And I am both proud of him and annoyed at him for that. How dare he be more responsible than I am. But anyway, that's it for now guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out Robert's channel. It will be in the description as it always is, even though he wasn't here to help. And as always, have a good one. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Say bye, Mr. Turret. That's the way. That's the way the turret says bye. Bye.